I mean, the NHS itself feels like it's at a critical turning point. We've seen increased levels of privatisation after years of this kind of process of commodification and internal markets. Um, and there are even threats now of selling big chunks of the NHS off to American healthcare insurance providers. Um, and yet we have now got in the shape of the Labour Party's refound commitment to socialist principles, a call for the renationalisation of the NHS. I wonder, David, given all that you've experienced over the last 40 years, what you think the right kind of political pathway might be for the NHS? I think the best future for the NHS is to get rid of the market, both the external market and the internal market. And we get rid of financially based commissioning, where we think we can buy and sell healthcare, healthcare packages as if they're a commercial product. And we also attempt to de industrialize it where we can. So the industrial model can work very well for structural illnesses, cataracts, heart surgery, that sort of thing, but it works very badly with what I call pastoral health care. Mental health care, the care of the aging, the care of the anxious people having problems in living, and we all have some, have those at some stages in our lives. The market works very badly with that. The industrial model works very badly with that. We've got to have less corporation and more vocation, that we no longer think that we have to financially incentivize people and instead we try to work with their internal motivation, their vocation.